It's a good afternoon here from South Africa and I hope you are doing well. Let's look at the playlist element. This is an element that's a pro element for both Brizzy Cloud and Brizzy WordPress plugin and was introduced in 2020. Let's bring in a new block and then go to add elements, playlist, where are you? Over here, click and drag. What the playlist element is going to allow you to do is to bring in videos and add them to a playlist. And this is how it looks by default. It looks really bad, right? So you, you need to bring in your stuff and you need to do something with it. The best way to start is to bring in the links. And it's very simple. If you're working with YouTube, you just get the link of the YouTube video and you drop it in here. To do that, click on any of these thumbnails that look like a play. And then you go over here to this play and you will see you have the type and then the link you put in here. For the type, you have YouTube and you have Vimeo. So your playlist only going to run on YouTube or Vimeo, right? So make sure let's use YouTube for this example. I'll jump in here and I'll just grab a link and then I'll paste the link there and it updates. And you can see here is the one that I had done on the table element. Here is a small problem with it, which makes this display a little unusable. And that is that it doesn't display over here. I wish it could mirror whatever is showing here over here as well. have no idea why it's not like that. That would be a great improvement for the future. But I'm going to show you how to get around having a thumbnail display there very soon. Let's just bring in another video. So I'll grab another link from a different brother. Click there and paste that one also. Control Command V. Now you see we've got two, that one is table. And if I click on the second one, it's Lottie element. And again, as you can see here, nothing changes here in the sidebar on the right. We're going to do all of that custom. And then how do I get more videos in here? Simply click on this one and then duplicate. And then let's grab a third one. Select that. Let's see if it updates, okay. Let's work with these three because I want to show you one other thing you have to be aware of. This is your display. Let's start working quickly then here on our thumbnails. And if I click on it, you've seen that when I click here on this little play icon, it gives me the settings for the videos. And you've seen that we can do the type either YouTube or Vimeo. What is advanced? And every time I see advanced in any program, I get very scared because advanced is one of those things I never really conquer. But don't be scared because no, nah, it's just additional controls. Over here, you have the control. So if you disable it, it will not show the controls while people are playing it. Let's update this page and go preview it on the front end so we can see how it will look currently. And here's my playlist. And if I click play, there it starts playing and no controls. I can just play and pause. And this is strange because if I go to advance and I disable it and I update it, I don't see a difference. Let's update this one. Play. Ah, oh, hey, but then it's, then it's upside down. I would have thought when the controls are enabled, you should be able to see it. Yeah, this should be the other way around. Currently, what I understand, this should be, when it's blue, it should, should be enabled. And when it's not blue, it should be disabled. But it's the other way around. Okay, I get it. And then you have loop function here as well. Let's leave it on. So if it's on, it's disabled. <laughs> okay. And then here is loop. And then start and end. If you want that video to start at a specific end or end at a specific end. Very important, this is works across the board everywhere. If you work with any page builder, you know that when you bring in a video and you want to give it a specific start, you need to do that within seconds. And that's what this little notification is also going to tell you. You have to go and calculate that within seconds. Usually, if you are in YouTube, YouTube at the top will give you the second so you can just enter it there and then set it. Now, going to the cover, now you can change the cover. Hmm. But also not ideal. Let me just choose the top one, make sure that's the one and then go to cover. So this is the table element. So if I click on cover and it opens my explorer, I grab the table element here and I click on open and then it will bring that in and it will drop it in there. But 
it will also change this. So if your video on YouTube is a little bit different to this one, it's going to change it. And look, it also changed the play button. Now it's not the YouTube play, it is your own play button. So you need to go in style and change that to the way you want it to look as well. It overrides it, be aware of it, but if you don't do it this way, you don't get a thumbnail over there. So if, I mean, it's actually kind of not, makes doesn't make any sense to have it if you don't have it. Right, so Lottie element, let's bring in covers for that as well. And then last one, go to covers, and this is shape dividers, and add that. Right, so I've got a nice little playlist here of three videos. And how this will work naturally is that if people come to your site and they play this video and it finishes, it will go to the second and to the third one. To change this text here, you do it the Brizzy way. Simply triple click to select everything and I'm just going to call it video one. So we have some idea and you can also change subtitle. And if you don't want subtitle, let's see, triple click to select and delete. As simple as that if you don't want that. But maybe you want something in there. I just think you're going to run into a real estate problem, so you won't be able to fit in all the text there and probably don't need to. So I'm going to delete that one as well. And now you've set this up. Let's click one more time on this one so we can see what else we've got here. Filters, if you want to make changes, I don't see the need for that. Then you have your topography. Very nicely done again. You have topography for your title and your subtitle. So you get full control over both of these. So if I want to decrease that, and I'm not going to do that yet because I'm going to jump quickly to settings. And here you will see the size. So if I play around with this, I'm increasing the size of the thumbnail. And that's why I said I'm going to reduce it and then go back to my topography. And now with my subtitle, I'm also going to remove, ah, with my title, I'm also going to make it smaller. And now if you have a subtitle and you put it on something much smaller, like 14, then it's going to fit in very nicely there. Great. Let's just go back there. We click again on the thumbnail and we've looked at topography. Let's look at color over here. Whoa, loads and loads to choose from. Play is that button there. So if you look at play, you're going to choose the color. Let's make it blue. Okay, it's, it's the circle, not the button. Icon is icon. Let's put that on white. And then your title is up here. Uh, blue, okay. Subtitle, I didn't have one. And then background. Background, you're going to pause here because look at the three labels we have here on the left. The first one is your default color. Second one is hover. And then your third one is active. So the video that has been selected and the one that is playing is going to appear. So let's, I'm going to choose active and put it on white. And then let's update and go and preview it on the front end. So you can see what we've done up to now. Refresh this page. Hey, it's starting to look okay. You can probably put a border around it as well. And I decide to play video number two, jumps over to video number two. Very nice. And video number three. Here is where you would say, hey, but it would be cool. I saw you have that hover there, right? Let's bring in the hover as well. But there's a snag here. And this is the last snag that I found here. Something that could be improved upon. Click on the thumbnail. Go to color. We select background and then hover. And let's put the hover on black just so we can see it very clearly. And as I hover over it, you're going to see that this empty space at the bottom also is affected by the hover. So that's why for me, it's updated so you can see again it, how it works on the front. Okay. Front. That is for me why I wouldn't use the hover. I don't like the fact that that happens. That's strange. So not ideal. I recommend stay away from it until the solution is, is found for that. So what I have to do now is once I've activated that hover is I'll have to go and change the color the same as, okay, so it's that one, that swatch there. Good. So now I've removed the hover. So we've gone through everything that you can do over here and then you have to duplicate. And if you want to delete any of these videos, simply click on delete. I'm curious though, where do I get, can I change that icon? 
I don't see any place icon. You see size and I can also change the content alignment. But I don't see any place to change the icon. I thought, hmm. And padding, padding. Okay, padding is inside here. So the padding is, oh, okay, that's very interesting. So you can do that. Want to have a better look? Let's take it to this side. Hey, settings, more settings, and then the padding again. Okay, if you need that control over the padding. And you saw there that if it goes over the container, you do get a scroll bar here on the right. But we definitely don't need that amount of padding. Let's put it back there. Something like that. So mm, I'm still curious about that icon. Maybe we will find it somewhere else. Why do I say somewhere else? Because up here on the element, you also have the options for the element. Click on that. And here we have play again. We have the option to have it horizontal or vertical. Now, what is vertical, my dear? Well, on Sally, if I put it on vertical, it appears at the top or it appears at the bottom like so. Now, where is my third video? And the first time this happened, I was like, yeah, this doesn't work. Do I have to scroll now every, oops, scroll. Okay, probably it's not going to work. Ah, there, okay, do I have to scroll now? And then I saw here in the settings that you have columns. You can choose how many to display. So if I put it on three, I have all three of my videos in now. Let's just scroll up and I can bring it up. And if I had more videos, they would appear there. Let's put it back up horizontal color and this is your border for this entire element then you have alignment and then over here you have again width if you need to play around with that okay and then you have control over the sidebar as well so you can increase actually the size of the sidebar and that's where a long subtitle let me just click in there the hey where is i click on that is it because i deleted it now oh are the color the selected and this was subtitle ah there we go the days and lives of bobby mcgee mcgee now you have more space for that by changing the sidebar over here on the settings sidebar right and then more settings here the normal stuff switch it back to the right Good. And that, 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 that there is your playlist element. Let's quickly talk about responsive settings. And I'm just going to reduce the sidebar a little bit. And let's see. Oh, it will go to the second line and then it will drop the text below it. If you're going to break any of those sentences. So let's do it like that. When you go to tablet. So from here on the sidebar, click on tablet it will keep it like it had displayed on desktop. You don't have much control except you have the width here and the sidebar option. So if you want to make the sidebar a little bit longer to have the text fit in again, you have control over that. But when you move over to mobile, you're not going to see the video display at all. Let's update what we've done. Go to the front end. So I can show you how that will look on a mobile display. You go for F12 on your browser to enter the mobile display and I've put it on iPhone X and this is how it will display. So you will probably need to add a header there that says video playlist to describe it a little bit more. I wonder where, why doesn't, did I update this? Let me just go for, let me just re ooh, refresh the page first because it didn't bring in the title. There we go. Okay, so if I click there on video two, you'll see the video pops up now. And if it was in landscape mode on your phone, oh, landscape mode, interesting. It will display like this. Hmm, I'm impressed. And that's it. That is the playlist element. I think there can be one or two things like the hover here, if that is important. And I wish that it can also draw the image from the video to the thumbnail by default and not give us that almost like a broken arrow look. And I'm very curious about the play button. I would have assumed because in the video element, there is a position or there is a place where you can go and change the icon there and you can even change the shape. 
that would be nice to have as well. So a few things, but all in all, as it is at this moment, it's going to do a very good job for you if you want to bring in a playlist from either YouTube or Vimeo. Just remember, this is only in the pro versions for Brizzy Cloud and the Brizzy WordPress plugin. Enjoy the rest of the weekend, stay safe and relax. See you in the next video.